Hello, Winnell. Thank you so much for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Anita. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to participate in this discussion with you today. I am Winnell. I currently live in Bowie, Maryland. I grew up in the Largo area, went to Largo High School. I immigrated to the United States from Trinidad when I was 15 years old. So coming to high school here was a little bit of a culture transition for me. I ended up going to Bowie State University here in Bowie, Maryland, and now work with a great firm called Cone Resnick. Great, thank you for sharing with us that background. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do with Cone Resnick? So at Cone Resnick, my official title is that of an audit partner, but I do feel my day-to-day -day encompasses so much more. I spend a lot of time servicing my clients, making sure that we meet their needs, which may encompass um, providing them services such as audit, tax, and advisory. But really, I spend a lot of my time helping them solve their problems um, and helping them figure out their strategies for growth and their mission and working with them to accomplish them. But more importantly, I spend a lot of my time working with a great team of people who I love. and. Um, I love working with them, interacting with them, helping to see them develop, not just professionally, but also personally. You know, some of them start right out of school and they're all grown up now to be full adults with kids and mortgages and husbands and spouses. And so it's just great to be part of their lives and their journeys and watch them develop throughout their careers. When also we have a similar background in the fact that we grew up outside of the United States. So coming into the States and having the opportunity to go to school and, and pave that path of a career uh, within our families is very exciting, but could also be very challenging. Can you tell us a little bit about your story there? Sure. Thank you, Anita. As I mentioned in my introduction, I did migrate to the United States when I was 15. So I started high school in the 10th grade. Um, the background from which I came was always very education focused and professional focused, so I didn't have to struggle with that, but I did not know the system here. And so it was not easy to try to manage and navigate that without having someone before you that had participated in that system or gone through that system. So while I had strong support um, at home for advancement and going forward and making sure that I had a tertiary education, um, there was no one to really say, do this, or these are the steps to take. Thankfully, um, you know, the guidance and counselor office at school was helpful in that regard in getting us signed up for the SATs and, you know, having colleges come to school to look at you and talk to you. And so I sort of went through that in the school system and it worked for me. Um, along the way, I had a lot of support through teachers and professors, but um, when in doubt, I would say ask. Um, you know, there are resources at school that can help you. Don't take no for an answer. Follow your heart if you have a burning desire to want to do something, to want to be something, and you vision yourself somewhere. Don't give up on your dreams. Well, now, what message would you send to young women that maybe are fearful of the path that they can trace for themselves, especially if they see certain representation or lack of representation in the career that they're dreaming about? Great question, Anita. Um, you know, you can look across a spectrum of careers and you can see a lot of times that there are a lot of entrants into the career, but when you look at the top of those careers, sometimes we don't see enough females. And a lot of times, um, this is not the only reason, but sometimes they can be sidetracked or derailed or off ramp because they've started families. And so a lot of times they feel that it's not achievable to have a family and to have a successful career and to advance in that career. But I will say that it is achievable if it's something that you really want to do. I'm not going to tell you that it's easy, but it's doable. Um, you have to have a support system around you and you have to create a path that works for you. The path that works for you 
may not be the path that works for everybody else or for the person that's at the right of you or the person that's at the left of you. But you have to find a path that creates the right balance for you. And so, you know, don't lose focus or sight of your dreams, of the vision of where you want to go. But the road to get there may not look like anyone else's. And now if you had a time machine that you could go back and speak to your 15-year-old self, what would you say? To my 15-year-old self, um, you know, you don't have to be perfect. Perfection is not required, nor is it necessary. Failure is part of life. <laughs> and the key is to fail up. You learn from that, your failures and you just learn not to repeat them. But things will happen that will not go your way and it's okay. 